Hello everyone, my name is Ilya, I'm co-founder of Near Protocol. Uh, my background is in machine learning and engineering, but for the past two years we've been working on Near Protocol and I'm leading technical and product side uh, on the Near Inc side, but uh, there's a huge ecosystem of projects and let me tell you more about uh, why Near Protocol is an exciting opportunity for all of you to build on, as well as uh, how Near ecosystem can help your project succeed. So, Kind of high level, what Near started with is this idea that it should be completely straightforward for anyone, non-technical person, not a crypto person, to use applications, right? It should not be, you know, figuring out what the hashes are, private keys, seed phrases, you know, blocks, etc. It should be sign up and start using apps similar how we have this on Web2 and kind of regular technologies. And so... To do that, there's a lot of components that need to go in. And from our perspective, we pretty much set out the roadmap and have built it um, to kind of satisfy this simple experience. Um, for technical people, this means is that your kind of protocol, your blockchain your infrastructure need to scale. And we kind of aiming to have billions of people on it. So it needs to scale kind of beyond what normally blockchains can do, what, which means sharding. And so Near Protocol is currently the only one protocol that actually has implemented sharding that's fully working, fully live, uh, and completely transparent to the user, right? You don't need to worry as a user which shard you have assets on, which shard the application runs. And so this completely kind of removes the need to understand the underlying layout um, and kind of all of the infrastructure that usually goes uh, into some of those things. The second part has been, you know, how do we build something where we can pretty much make it super easy and simple for people to use, right? And so performance, speed, right, and kind of transaction throughput and, and low cost is a must there. And then more importantly, ideally, transaction cost should be completely hidden from the user. And so they can just use, you know, pay maybe fixed fee to access services and just use it. So again, on near. Kind of, we implemented a lot of these things. So, for example, we have an account model that allows you to hide from the user transaction fees. Um, so, for people who are technical in blockchain space, it's called smart contract-based accounts. Uh, we have pretty much because of sharding, we can continuously increase the throughput of the system. So, there's no uh, time when there's more demand than throughput, which is why you know you have prices going up on uh, existing networks. And so, all this right is kind of delivers you this idea of a simple, secure, and scalable experience that as a developer, as a user, you just can use and not worry about it. Like the best analogy is, uh, you know, when you go as a developer to Amazon, you just, you know, set up some services and they just run. And, you know, if you have more users, they scale up. You don't worry about data centers. You don't worry about electricity. You don't worry about any of these things. This is what kind of near delivers you as experience. But on top of this, kind of, this is, an underlying layer. This is, you know, the infrastructure, but more importantly is the ecosystem. And so kind of near started with this idea, but then over time we grew into pretty much a huge kind of decentralized set of communities which are supporting projects, supporting um, kind of each other in different ways. And so kind of few fundamental pieces of our ecosystem, uh, one of them is guilds. So guild is this idea that um, a set of people can be working together in the ecosystem to help other people in the ecosystem with something. This can be, you know, helping your project with translation to a different language, for example, in Chinese or Korean. This can be a legal guild that's here in Switzerland, for example, and in other regions, helps to, your project to register and set up your, for example, DAO legal structure and have, you know, a legal address and do some of the accounting. It's a user experience guild that helps your uh, product to be you know more usable with user experience expert from Silicon Valley and from other places. So it's kind of lots of different called like services that are provided by e community, and obviously all of this together creates this great place to come and have a lot of um, kind of resources that usually would you know take you a ton of time and effort to hire for and build your company. And on top of this, Near Ecosystem have announced a $800 million fund funding uh, for the ecosystem, which is pretty much um, allocated to support projects, to support 
uh, folks who are building and kind of to continuously expand this ecosystem. So you can come in, you have the funding to start, you have lots of different resources from legal to product, from languages to communities around the world um, to support you. There is obviously lots of venture capital as well that are investing in new ecosystem, kind of new itself, had uh, a lot of partners from Andreessen Horowitz, Pantera, Electric, Dragonfly, and kind of 50 more others who've kind of publicly been supporting uh, and, and are investing in projects on top. And uh, all in all, you know, we're starting to see like a breakout momentum of applications that are actually targeting not just existing crypto users, which obviously already there, but actually the people who don't fully yet understand how crypto works and probably will not, but are now able to use these applications because how simple it is to use. So um, I invite you all, check out more near.org. There's a lot of resources, there's a lot of things to learn and uh, join us. Thank you.